Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at a very handy mod. And this one is called the Improved Engineering Grabby Hands, which will allow you to pick up small objects or objects of a certain weight and drag them around, get them out of the way, or put them into a grinding pit if that's what you want. So once you've added this in through the mod menu, you're going to get a bunch of new functions where you can walk up to some blocks, press R and drag them around. For the moment, what I'm going to do is grab hold of my character and blow up the starting base. So we're going to come over to this a bit later. So there we go. One hell of a lot of warheads. That should make a nice bit of wreckage. So what I'm going to do is turn my attention behind here where I've had several vehicles slide into each other. And now I need to clean this up, find all the valuable resources, get it out of the way to allow my rover to drive through this exact area. And that's where the grabby hand is going to come in. So we're going to come across to this. I'm going to press R and now I can just pick this up and take it to wherever it needs to go. I can also throw this around if I want to, move it out of the way. And we've also got a few other very useful controls. So what we're going to do is go through the controls of this mod. Then we'll go through a bit of the technical information, but not all of it, because it's much easier to visually see it than it is for me to go through a bunch of numbers. So we're going to start off by picking up this wheel right next to me by pressing R. With nothing in our hand, if you have something in your hand, this will not work. But now we can just pick it up and drag it around. What you're going to notice is that we get a little green line, which indicates if we're able to pick something up or not. The lighter it is, the shorter the line. So as you can see when I'm holding it in front of me, we can't really see anything until we start to wobble it around. Now this line has a very unique color indication because it means how heavy it is and if you can actually move it or not. When the line gets to about 8 meters, it's going to turn red. And then you're going to automatically drop the object so you can't physically move it. So to just fling this around, there we go, come over to this gyroscope, connect myself onto it, we can see we've got our green line. We can sort of move it around, but this is very heavy for the engineer to use on a planet, where if we were to move across, we can see the line come slightly yellow, then it becomes red, then we automatically disconnect and drop it wherever it is. So do be aware of that if you're moving something precious, like a full cargo container. As for the other controls, we can rotate stuff, we can hold stuff in place, so picking up this wheel once again, I can hold the right mouse button, which is going to change the anchor point of the block. So say we picked up a very lopsided block, we now turn that to the opposite side. So when it comes to rotating it, it's now going to be a lot easier to get it into the angle we want. Be able to load it up into a back of a vehicle or say into a very small grinding pit to make sure it's not going to spill over and will go on the floor. As for the left mouse button, this is going to be to keep it nice and still, but it also activates the rotation of our default game. So say you can pick up a steel block from the spawn menu, you can rotate using the same controls as that. As for the mouse wheels, this is going to be to wheel it in and out so we can move it further away or to bring it a bit closer. So again, it's going to be very useful for loading this up and to get it to where it needs to go. And then finally, the most fun part of this mod is that if you hold the left and right mouse button together, you'll throw the object, which means you can, as it states on the Steam Workshop page, throw warheads at other players just by putting it on the ground, picking it up and throwing it. So now what we're going to do is try and move some of these larger blocks. So we've got React over here. I'm going to press R. We see it's highlighted yellow. Unfortunately, I can't move this on the Earth-like planet. If I was to come over to one of these cargo containers, again, I cannot move this. But we can see it slightly wobbling around. So we do have sort of strength. So if you were very careful or if you have some assistance of someone pushing it from behind, you could probably move this away from danger. Of course, coming down to here, we've got ourselves our Gatling gun, which you can throw around if we need to. And behind us is our gyroscope that we saw earlier which you can just about wobble around, but we need to be very careful and use the momentum of the object to actually move it to where we need to go. So we're going to come over to the base that I just blew up. We're going to take a look at some of these blocks, if they survived. Here we go. This is a nice lot of stuff I was hoping to happen. So we've got a large block conveyor. We're going to press R and we can just about move it around. It is slightly heavy, so using the jetpack is going to be a bit of a problem, but on the ground we can lift it up and walk it where it needs to go. So there we go, it's now out of that and into another hole. Coming over to these steel blocks, we do the same. Just about. It might be a bit difficult getting up this hill. We'll have to be very, very patient with this. Although it looks like we hit a little nub and now it's going to fall all the way down. Coming over to these batteries, which is going to be very important with this mod. These batteries are the one things that you can't really salvage from an enemy base due, of course, to the battery components. Unless you were to use some kind of merge block function on a piston to lift them up to a rover or onto another ship. But you can see we've got sort of control over this. We can sort of move this around. We're not going to be moving that anytime soon. Coming up to here, do we have anything else? Of course, we've got this part of the platform. 
but we can't move that. So we are limited by a 20 by 20 by 20 meter grid, and that greatly exceeds it. Do we have any other goodies move around? Here is a singular block. There we go. We can now move that around. We can throw it around. And away it goes. We lift up that one. Yes, we can. We can rescue that one. And here's another one that we can sort of drag around. That's the same as we saw earlier. Coming over to here, we've got some small thrusters from a poor little ship that blew up. They are slightly heavier than the other small blocks we were using earlier. And now we can throw that away. There we go. Come across over to here. Can we lift anything else up? No, we cannot. So we are quite limited on what we can move on a planet. But that is to be expected. We are affected by gravity. But now let's go into space and see what we can move. So here we are in space. What I've done is spawned in a large block atmospheric thruster with a steel block right next to it. What we're going to do is move the atmospheric thruster, stand on the steel block so we can see it moving, because it is going to be moving very slowly. So coming up to it, I'm going to press R. There we go, it's highlighted. I'm now going to move it away. Now I'm going to let go. I'm going to come over to the steel block, very carefully land on it so it hopefully does not move. There we go. And now in first person view, we can see the atmospheric thruster is slowly moving it away. So while we're in space, we can move this very slowly. So if it is in your way and you don't want to grind it up, you can easily move this out of the way, provided you are patient. So while that is floating away into space, what I'm going to do is find the moon. We're going to land on that and repeat the experiment. So here we are on the moon. There's the large atmospheric thruster. I'm going to press R on it. And now we're going to hold it in place. And it looks like we can just about influence it while on the moon. And we can sort of wobble it from side to side. But we're not really going to be able to do too much. It can be very similar to the Earth-like planet. But as you can see there, it is slightly wobbling. But as for that, that is pretty much it for what this mod has to offer. It's very self-explanatory with what it does. But what is its actual purpose? Well, for this, the way I look at it is, it's for survival mode, where you're using, say, a mod that spawns in a lot of ships, a lot of drones, and you get a lot of wreckages. So say you've got the modular encounter system, they usually throw a lot of drones at you, when when there's a lot of drones, there's going to be a lot of damage everywhere, which could get in the way of your small vehicle, could make some holes in the ground, or perhaps something has fell off your ship, fell off your rover, and you want to try and recover it. With this mod, you do have the option of actually moving stuff out of the way, without grinding it up, because sometimes you're in the hurry, sometimes you want to get out of the location because it's too hot, and you have to grind everything up, which results in a lot of material dropping on the ground, which could cause some performance issues in the long run. But with this, we can walk up to a few things, move it out of the way, get it out of the way of your rover, drop it into a grinding pit, and well, hopefully that'll save you a bit of time. But yes, as for that, it's a very self-explanatory mod. It's a very fun thing to play around with if you do want to save ping some more heads and your friends. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.